In spine surgery, one of the main surgeries that we've used has been the spinal fusion. The spinal fusion has been um, done for many years and one of the things that we do with the spinal fusion is, is that we um, are trying to make two pieces of bone fuse together. Stem cell research has allowed us to create a fusion without taking actual bone tissue from the body. What that does, it makes it so that you don't have to have an additional incision and you don't have to deal with the post-operative problems that are associated with a bone graft. What we do to um, obtain the stem cells is we actually place a needle into the iliac crest rather than doing a large incision. We draw out the bone marrow that's rich in the stem cells and then we take that and then spin it down. We then collect the stem cells and place that in the area where we want the fusion to occur with additional bone. What this allows is, or what this changes is that we now don't have to make a big incision which can be painful after the surgery or be deformed after the surgery. Once we've collected the stem cells from the iliac crest and we've uh, concentrated them and spun them down, we will place them on a piece of bone like this. Basically, there's different types of bone that we use, and this is what we call cancellous bone graft. And then we'll place the stem cells in there and place this actually in the area that we want to fuse. This is a piece of aloe stem. This is stem cells that have been collected from fat cells and they've been placed inside a bone matrix. They're attached to actual pieces of, of bone. They come to us frozen in the operating room and I take it and I thaw it out and then I place this bone into the area where I want the fusion to occur. Now this has the stem cells impregnated in it so these stem cells will actually turn into bone over time. This is called osteogenesis or bone formation. Basically, the stem cell develops into a bone formation cell called an osteoblast. That cell then develops into an osteocyte, which is the mature cell. So basically what this stem cell does, it takes a lot of these cells and drives them toward forming osteocytes, which form the bone, which cause your fusion to occur. Our goal is to obtain pain freedom with stem cell technology.